Preparing for a competitive examination has always been a mystery for a lot of students. When we start the preparation for a competitive examination and decide in our mind that we are going to take this examination, we need a proper guidance. And in order to get the proper guidance, we need to always seek help from our seniors who have already aced that particular examination or not. Hi everyone, this is me, Amir Akhtar, and a medicine surgery student at University of Messina. I am also an educational advisor and physics faculty at Future Maths Academy. So in this video, we're going to talk about how did I prepare for my IMAT examination, which books I use for my preparation, how I managed to score 65 marks in IMAT examination. So before diving into this video, if you didn't subscribe to the channel yet, you can subscribe to the channel now in order to get future updates regarding medicine surgery program and interview. I started my preparation of IMAT between February. When I started preparing for my IMAT examination, I was a full-time worker in Greece. I used to work 8 hours a day and 6 days in a week. When I started my IMAT preparation, I focused more on general knowledge and I used to mix a lot of notes during the time. So I would recommend if you're starting early to focus more on general knowledge and in order to score more than other candidates because there are some sections of IMAT which decide that you are getting into medical school or not. Uh, for biology and chemistry section, most of the students are able to do it. The competition remains in general knowledge, logical reasoning, problem solving. So if you are good in general knowledge, you would be more ahead of other students. Because you need to remember, IMAT examination is really competitive. In order to ace the examination, you should be better in subjects which other students are not. When I was studying for general knowledge, I used to make a lot of notes. I used, I have the notes with me. And this was the book which I used for my general knowledge. So I have a lot of notes of different, different things. I used to make notes of uh, the authors. I used to make the notes of famous opera. And I used to make notes of the presidents, United Nations and uh, UNESCO, World Heritage Sites, uh, the different organizations, for example, UNHCR, FAO, ILO. I did a lot of research on Nobel, Nobel Prizes as well. And then I make some notes about important newspapers. Then I decided to make some notes regarding the capital country, currency, national dances, important questions of the particular country. And there are a lot of notes. So if you read my notes, you can uh, text me uh, through my Instagram and I will be more than happy to give you these notes, which can be helpful for you at some point. So moving ahead to logical reasoning, I used previous year papers for that. And one, I believe that logical reasoning questions can be done by those students who are really good in cognitive abilities and analytical thinking. Reading skills in English is one of the most important factor which will decide that your logical reasoning questions are getting correct or not. I also believe that most of the questions from logical reasoning are asked from assumptions, uh, flaws and applications. So you can prepare for your logical reasoning section from your previous papers and it will help you a lot. Next section is problem solving. So for problem solving, I bought a personalized course from an unknown academy which I will not disclose here. But it helped me a lot in order to get most of my questions correct in problem solving section. So eventually I was able to make all of my questions correct in problem solving. But I believe that if you're good in your mathematical abilities and little bit good in applications of uh, basic maths, then you will be able to make all the questions correct in your problem solving. I will advise to those students who are not good in problem solving section to dedicate most of the initial time and in preparing for a problem solving section because it is one of the important factors which decide that you are getting into medical school or no. Next section and the very first section of scientific topics that is biology. So we, ha we have to remember that the biology section is the largest section of IMAT, which has 23 questions in it. So when I, when I prepared for my biology, I use Campbell biology, which is still with me. So I have a physical book of Campbell biology, which is very important. I used to study from it. And this book was so good for me because it gave me a very de depth knowledge about each and every concept which was required at the time of IMAT examination. So all my theoretical concepts regarding biology was clear from Campbell. But the thing is, so some concepts were really conceptual and requires tutoring. So I hired a personal tutor for that and was able to make sure that all of my questions in biology were correct as well. Who are looking for a book for biology can use this Campbell biology which is very informative and it also have a little bit quizzes at the end of every chapter which will help you a lot. It gives you a very beautiful summary which helps you to uh, get a quick revision regarding whatever you have studied for the entire chapter. Even though I used uh, Campbell biology for all my theoretical concepts but I also hired a, a personalized tutor uh, so that he can help me a lot and uh, he gave me a beautiful knowledge and concepts regarding biology. So I will advise for those students who need uh, concepts regarding biology can also choose a authorized academy for their future learnings. Even though all your theoretical concepts are clear from Campbell biology but at this point I will really advise for those students who re score really good marks in the examination can either choose an, acad an authorized academy for personalized lessons. 
because whatever topics I might have except at 2024 are really conceptual and should require in-depth knowledge in order to make sure that all your questions of biology are correct. Additionally, I was enrolled in a personalized program where I used to practice the mock test, uh, which helped me a lot. There are some questions in biology which requires really high attention, for example, correct cycle, glycolysis, EPS pathway, EMP pathway, and a lot of things. For students who are looking for mock tests and personalized lessons, I would recommend Future Mass Academy courses because they offer live lessons, mock tests, and uh, personal counseling sessions and a lot of things. Most importantly, they are affordable and accessible all around the world. When you're using Campbell Biology, then you need to make sure that you are stick to the syllabus of the IMAT and you don't read the entire book because there are certain lessons which are not useful for IMAT examination in which you will just lose your time. So, for chemistry, I use AS and A-levels. This book is very good and I have the PDF copy of this book which I will be attaching in the description box. Or you can write me on Instagram and I will be more than happy to share this book to you. And what I believe that in Cambridge A-levels that the chapters are really productive and imperative and up to the point. So in this book, you can easily find the AS levels and A-level topics which are distinguished very, very clearly and you can identify the topics for physical chemistry, organic chemistry and organic chemistry which will help you a lot. The book will give you the learning outcomes to a table in the beginning of every chapter, which will be very helpful. The book also defines your capability and helps you to implement your knowledge in the questions which are provided in the exercise section. Again, for chemistry section, I would recommend students to get the mock test series from any authorized academy in order to make sure that whatever they have studied are implemented in the right direction and they are scoring well at the examination. Giving mock tests is very important in order to know where are you standing and what is your what is your position as compared to other students. Because IMAT examination is really competitive and we need to make it really productive in each and every section of IMAT. The book helped me a lot during my preparation and I think it will be more than enough in order to make sure that all your questions of chemistry are correct. Uh, additionally, it has beautiful mind maps. Uh, now try this section. Then you will have some quizzes at the end of the chapter and also the solve example, which will be more than enough for your preparation of IMAT. For those students who think that they are not good in chemistry, can hire a personalized tutor or buy, buy a personalized course uh, from an authorized academy. And the last section that is physics and mathematics. So when I was preparing for my own examination, I used the book Introduction to Biological Physics, which is very important and it's relevant to Italian medical framework as well. This book has all the concepts which are relevant to IMAD, whether it is kinematic dynamics or Newton's law of motion, whether it is current electricity or a little bit of thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. So I think this book will be more than enough because it has beautiful solved example and also an exercise. At the end of this book, you can also find the answers of the odd number of questions which are mentioned in the exercise. And for mathematics, I would recommend the books Acing for Set Math. This book has beautiful content and I have uh, all, the con all the topics which are related to IMAT syllabus. And, and I believe that this book will help you a lot because it has solved example. In addition to that, all the questions from the previous year will help you a lot in order to make sure that all your questions from physics and mathematics are correct. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, you can write me on my Instagram. That is mes.em02, which I will be also attaching in the description box. For students who are from India and have any kind of questions regarding how I can prepare for my examination, how should I register for the IMAT examination, what are the different process of visa applications and stuff can always contact me through my email address that is workspace of amir at the rate gmail.com which is also mentioned in the description box and for students in general if you have any questions regarding anything just drop a comment in the comment section and i would be more than happy to help you with that thank you and have a great journey towards amir success i want to see you as a doctor bye